Hello, the internet. It is Wednesday, the 13th of May, 2020. Welcome back to a wave a day. A wave a day is my project where I surf a wave every single day for a calendar month, no matter what the conditions, right here at my local Culborough Beach, thanks to Bell Surf Wax and Arzen Wetsuits. Being the 13th day of the month, would also make this wave number 13. And today is the first day we have cloud cover and heinousness. Actually, it's not heinous, but it's just, well, I mean, it's autumn here, right? Way, hey, hey. It's autumn or the fall. You may know it as the fall. And therefore the weather is kind of on the cool side. It's not unusual to see cloud. That also has meant a drop in swell size. Oh no, what happened to the waves is, oh no. This is gonna be difficult. I'm just measuring my board because there was a question from James Crawford. He wanted to know what length board I ride. So I just measured it quickly or I could just look on the board for the dimensions. I already know I'm being stupid. This is a 6.9. It's one inch longer than the modern Highline. I was riding a 6.8 and this is a 6.9. In an ideal world, this would be a shorter board, but this was the board that Global Surf Industries suggested I bump up to. It's less in volume than the modern Highline. And the second part of James Crawford's question was what fins am I rocking? Well, these are the generic FSCS Plastic guys, let me show you. The performer, the medium performer. You see that there? That's upside down, but I can read, I can read upside down. It says medium performer. Now these are the fins that came with the board. I used to have some glass fins, but I have lost one. Um, I'm now gone back to the plastic fins. I can totally feel the difference between the plastics and the glass. In an ideal world, I would upgrade to another set of glass fins, but because Global Surf Industries Australia closed shop, and therefore I lost my sponsorship, I don't have the connection through there back to Richie Lovett to ask for more fins. So I'm gonna stay with these for a while. Although looking at the conditions, I don't think it matters what I'm using today. Why don't we do a CC while we're here, a condition check. There is an east southeasterly swell. At the moment, it's meant to be 1.2 meters at the buoys, not here. It measures it out at the ocean. That doesn't mean we're getting a 1.2 meter wave. That means the swell at the measured distance out on the ocean size, 1.2 meters dropping off to 0.8 by nine o'clock. So whilst I'm out surfing, the swell should be getting less than what it is right now. And that's already not very much. I put the drone up, had a look at the North Point. Ah, uh ah, -uh, nothing, nothing going down. So I'm probably gonna hit main front beach at North Point and it's gonna be a case of hoping, waiting and seeing what happens. Well, here we are, folks. Northern style, Culbara Beach. Oddly enough, not the left, but a left appears to be sort of working right off the front. So not the point where it sucks up on the rock, but a little ways in, there is definitely a section there. It's very small. I'm not gonna flip this camera around and show you because it's gonna be too small. So I'm gonna hit this left and uh, well, we'll see. So let's go surfing! Ah, for an eye. And we'll all go blind. A man once said this, and he would rise. And he would rise. Well, good morning, Wednesday! Okay, okay. I'm gonna sit here. Mid break, I suppose, not hitting the point. I'm gonna keep my eye on the point, but at this point, I think the midpoint is the point. See the point kind of pointing up and then dropping off? This point's kind of continuing to point. That's my point. I got a point to push. Talks about 
couple of sections coming through here. I've fallen off them. Haven't done very well, but this is the best we're gonna get. This is the last. I'll take it. Show the world. So the world cares. How about we uh POVK point of view kook? Just for one wave, might take a while to get. Let's swap the POV. Enjoy what I see. Now there's something coming through here. This could have been good timing. Let's see this. There's actually two here, there's one behind it. This guy's gonna get this I think. Yeah, charge in it. I'll go behind it. I'm gonna go behind the bigger one. Yes, this is not better. Alright, this is right here. Yes. That was shit! That was shocking. I just had no wall. That sucked. Hold on. Yeah, that was crap. I'm gonna get one with the vent like this. Let's go another one. What do you see? POV K? POV crew. That's not K. C. You? I'll go one more, huh? Here we go. Paddle out. That doesn't count. Well, it counts, but it was shocking. So let's get on board. Here we go. Here we go. Go out here, and they're too deep. No, they're all behind it. Probably should have gone that. Probably should have taken that. Whoopsie! Oh well. There'll be another one. And here it comes. I'll go this. That. Yeah. Where are you from then? Oh, cool. Oh, just on the road. <laughs> I love your country, man. Spent a lot of time over there. Had a Dutch girlfriend. Yeah, it's a great place, man. It's nice, but it's not as nice as here. <laughs> I've, been, I've been here for like almost five years now. So okay, cool. Ooh. What city are you closest to in the Netherlands? Okay. Let's take this. So you didn't see, you didn't come here to see me chanting with another surfer. You came to see the wave. So we've got to get a wave here. But uh, it's kind of hard when there isn't one. Let's get uh, a little in. Something on the point which we might filter through. If I get over a little closer to the shallows. There's two things here. There's something here. And yeah, this is going to work. All right, let's get this. Let's take this. It's very little. It's not gonna suck up enough. That's not gonna happen. That ain't gonna happen. Shit! I mean, it kind of happened there. Well, we gotta. Oh, it's like a right here. Hey, Dutch fan's gonna get it. Oh, look! I'm gonna sneeze. What? <laughs> Excuse me. Good timing. Look at this. This is gonna work. Is it? No, it's not. Shit. I'm in a real, real sucker here right now. Okay, there is waves coming through. 
in the section now. I apologize for the delay. This is POV style surfing. You wanted it. You asked for it. And now you got it. Okay, okay. There's a section here and a section behind. Let's take this. Oh yes, this is good. There's even one behind behind, but I'm gonna go the first one. If we can. We can get this. Yes, we can. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's some POV. Let's go. Uh, let's kill the POV. Yeah. That's enough POV for today. Could be a while between good waves and I cooked them. There are more waves coming in though, so let's talk more action. How you doing, Nick? You alright, man? Yeah. You! certain I didn't get a single decent ride today. Disappointed myself, disappointed you, disappointed the surf gods, and I just had a bad day. I mean, if I can use anything as an excuse, which I'm gonna try to right now, conditions are not great, right? But that's not stopping the dudes out there getting waves right now. Sam's getting good rides. The bodyboarders, AJ, he's getting great rides. Everyone's getting decent waves, but I didn't. I'm not gonna make any more excuses. I sucked. So if you enjoyed seeing me suck, come back tomorrow for Wave a Day Part 14. Hey, thanks for checking out my Wave a Day project for May 2020. Now, if you liked what you've seen here and you wanna make sure that you don't miss any further updates, hit the old subscribe button there. You can also check out yesterday's wave right here. You can check out a previous vlog of mine, it may or may not be surf related, right here. And if you want to support the content financially, Patreon right here. Ooh, there's waves to be had right here, look at this.